I've already shuffled and we'll go through the present time and take a look at how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So, Scorpio, for your present time, hangman and judgment. Now, with the hangman, it's showing that you'll probably start to feel like you're at a crossroads towards the end of April. It could be something like two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You might start to find that you're wanting to do something, but you have no idea of what it is or how to do it. Now, keep in mind, if that does happen, it's a sign that you should probably stop, relax, and try to look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. Because it's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you might need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make now, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. Overall, this is going to be a really thoughtful, reflective time for a lot of you Scorpios, particularly if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own interests by being willing to change. So that's um, the hangman. Now it's with this judgment card. Now judgment, it can be about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are too hastily made. If you know that you're prone to doing this, then this is a sign that you might want to slow down. Probably slow down and give things and people more thought, more chances. This can also be a time of some type of spiritual awakening when you get judgment. So, basically for the present time, hangman and judgment. You probably feel like letting go of something. Or maybe you should let go, go of something. You might have an out dated attitude of the way you uh, do things or just something that's outdated that you need to let go of um, because it's causing you to be confused or stuck in your head with this hangman. It could be that you're jumping to conclusions about a lot of things and you're not practicing forgiveness. So you might be causing a lot of things in your life to be at a make or break period. That's what judgment does. Um, because you maybe you jump to you, maybe you're jumping to too many con conclusions. Ooh, that was hard to say. Maybe you're jumping to too many conclusions, and you're just not giving people enough chances. So you might want to practice forgiveness. And that way you're not so stuck in your head or confused about something. Just maybe let it go. That's what it's saying with judgment. Yeah. You're hanging on to something or certain situations. And you're not being forgiving with this judgment card. And it's got you messed up in the head. Because that's what that is when you get the hangman. It's saying you need to let it go. Let it go. Whatever has got you stuck. Just let it go. Yeah. They're saying it's saying try to be more forgiving. And move on with your move on with your life. Or just free yourself. Mm-hmm. Because right now you're not doing that. You're Holding on to things and jumping to conclusions. And maybe other things. And it's got you, got you messed up in the head there. So let's take a look at 
how your person is seeing you. Now they see you like the strength card in the Eight of Cups. Now strength, it's about taking time to meditate, contemplate, and spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a hundred kids or a whole bunch of kids, you got to spend some time for yourself. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Make sure you don't do that, which is probably hard to do these days, but it's saying meditation would help and spending time alone. Because basically the outward things, they should be going, they should be going all right for you, but most... Mostly what's important is trying to keep your head on straight. With the strength card, it's showing that you have the ability, because you should be, you can use your strength, you have the ability and the responsibility. So conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience. Never lose patience with what you're, um, never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So, this is one of the ways that your person sees you. Uh, mutually supportive. And they see you um, as being patient, patient, accepting, and they see you as a strong relationship. Offering unconditional love. But it's with this Eight of Cups here. Now this Eight of Cups. It means that you will choose to leave a situation when you get the Eight of Cups. The situation is no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, it could be a job, it could be a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved. Just keep in mind the separation, it's in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone leaving you, Scorpio, this Eight of Cups, it actually means that you're the one who will make this choice. You're the one walking away. Often, when one door has, well, when one door closes behind you, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, once again, they see you as being mutually supportive in this connection, accepting things that happen, you offer unconditional love, but they also see you as wanting to move, move on. They see you as wanting to walk away from this connection, leave it behind. But they do see that you maybe you tried to offer unconditional love, and it just wasn't working out. You tried to offer, you tried to be strong in this connection, but uh, you're choosing to um, to leave it behind. It's with this Eight of Cups, it, it could have gone sour, this connection. But they see that you really try. You tried to be strong in this this connection with the Strength card. Yeah, you tried to you tried to give it your best shot, but now they see you as moving on. So let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them as Seven of Swords and a Ten of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Swords, it's about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It could mean that someone is prying into so into someone's life where they don't belong. Scorpio, if you feel that someone is spying on you, 
you might be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse. Because we know everyone needs privacy. Everyone deserves privacy. So, when you see your person with some trust issues, maybe suspicious about something in this connection. Now, it's with the Ten of Pentacles, which is the total opposite of this Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles is a very good card in the tarot. You have a lot to be thankful for. Your relationships, finance, health, all those, all those things are going well. It's, it's considering how you got to such a happy situation. Making the best of it. And be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we get back what we give out. Ten of Pentacles is about a very happy time. If you're in a relationship, it could move to the next level. Living together, marriage, childbirth. This is a beautiful card in the reading. I mean, in the tarot. Beautiful, beautiful card to get. Now, what I'm picking up is that you see your person as, um, they're just using probably... They use strategy, manipulation, tactics in this connection. And you see them at one point, they wanted this end-all, be-all with you. Or they might still want it. But they play too many games. They play too many games with you, Scorpio. And um, because the Ten of Pentacles here... You know that they want it. Well, you you saw that they want it to be with you and take this connection to the next level. But it looks like they, they're just not doing right by you. There's too much, too many t tactics, maybe. Um, you see them as maybe having some trust issues. But it's causing problems because it feels like maybe they're playing games. Yeah, so that's how you see them. And like I said, with the Seven Pentacles here, uh, you know that they want it to move. They want it to take this to the next level. They want it to make you their end all be all. But they just. They couldn't stop playing the games. Yeah, or either they just, they had trust issues. And that's how you see them. So let's take a look at why it's happening. Due to the Hermit and Knight of Pentacles. Now this Hermit, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations. Everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card or similar maybe. You may be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. So the strength card was about meditating. You know, taking yeah, it was about taking some time alone. But with this hermit card, Make sure you're not afraid to take it if you're feeling like you want to be alone. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying to, really hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. A hermit is with the Knight of Pentacles. Now this one points to messages. Could be related to money and finance, because when you hear the word pinnacles, that means coins, cash, finance. It could be related to, to money, but it could go either way. You might finally receive some type of news that you had been waiting on. And it's going to be really good news. Really good news. Knight of Pinnacles is a great card in the tarot. 
It's about paying attention, or it tells us to pay attention to the simple, mundane, normal parts of your lives. You probably heard the saying before, take care of the little things and the big things will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So, when it comes to love and relationships, it's about the work that you put into it. So, why it's happening, Hermit and Knight of Pentacles. Um, it's looking like someone needs to... Mm. Someone needs to or wants wants to spend time alone just to clear their mind, get rid of baggage. And make this connection. It's not a priority really, but make yourself more of a priority just to get your head back on track. Because um, someone probably got lost in this connection. So now they're realizing that they need to take some time for themselves. And because it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Hmm. Someone may want to come back. Someone probably wants to come back because we talked about Eight of Cups. Uh, they see you as walking away. Knight of Pentacles is, is about coming in. It's, it's about coming in, being more stable and civil. Yeah. And offering... Offering good news, something, so maybe something better than what you offered before. And it's taking a new approach. So someone realized that they need, they need, they they need to walk away, or they did walk away, and they they took time to be alone. They got their head above the water, and it looks like they want to come back and offer some good news. But try it different this time. Like, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles. Come, it comes in a slow and steady way. Very stable. Someone wants to come back and offer, offer this connection in a more stable way, more civil way. That's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. So, basically, for this whole reading, someone does a lot of jumping to conclusions, not um, offering redemption, not offering forgiveness. Someone does that a lot. So, we talked about that in the present time. And it leaves someone stuck in their head and confused because they, just, they don't practice forgiveness. Or either maybe you're just tired of forgiving because they see you as walking away. You're walking away and then you see them as possibly stalking you or just playing some unhealthy games. But you, you knew or you know that they want at the end all be all with you. So now it looks like someone, whoever walked away maybe, Maybe it was you, Scorpio, because that's how they saw you. You walked away. You got your head above the water. And it looks like uh, they're coming back. Offering. Offering something better. Like I said, in a more stable and civil, civil way. So it's going to be up to you if you take this back. But that's what I have for you today, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? 
how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. There's also a link for personal readings below if you'd like to try those. I hope 2020 is going well for you. And I hope that uh, April is a great month for, you, for all of you Scorpios. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great day.